everyone, this is Boban Anubiewicz from Nidlus and today I am going to talk and show how to install the Nidlus platform. And uh, we are running the Nidlus platform on Linux, of course. Uh, the web client can actually be run on Windows as well, so that's not a problem uh, as well, the SDK. So, for the Unlicensed, you'll get one API and three services. Download that one there. And we are going to download the web client. And while those are being downloaded, we have been testing uh, the platform on CentOS, Fedora, OpenSUSE Leap, and Ubuntu Server. My laptop runs on Ubuntu Desktop and it works there as well. So we will be checking the documentation and follow that one. So let's start with actually fixing the platform itself. And we'll go to the download. Whoops. Downloads. We'll check. We have them both there. We will be unzipping the. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And we go with the, that one. Not the needless clay and unzip. Okay, let's get into the needless. Let's start it up. Just check that it is the correct one. Yes, that's the needless platform itself. So we start that one up. It will require us to agree to downloading additional third party binaries from the npmgs.org and with that those few binaries, and they are actually few, uh, we will not be able to run. So we say yes, and click enter there. Now what it will be doing is it will actually create the server now, and it will add a client.crt file to our home folders root, which we then will be using in the web client when we are adding the uh, the server to uh, uh, to be monitored in the web client. So now we can see here the firewall must be uh, allowing out outgoing traffic, and uh, it's on the port six eight five four for the licenses. That's not a problem, and the server itself is started on port seven seven three four. So let's open up a new tab. Let's go back and let's unzip the needless. Let's go click there and then let's take a look. And there's the needles here. And that's the clean. And let's just start it up with needles app. Needles app. And there you go. Now we are actually already having the server up. We'll go to localhost and we have that port 7999. Go to that one. We'll take a look. The quick start. It says also in the beginning when we download it, but the, yeah, login with admin and password 123. So that's what we're going to do. Admin, password 123 and Please, whatever you do, do not stay with that password. So now, welcome to the GUI of the Nilus platform. Of course, you can do all the work in the bash. We are not going to show that here now. In a later video, I'm going to show you how when downloading the SDK, and I'll show you how to actually create a microservice to package it and uh, to set it up. And so, in other words, to set up an API, the entry points, and uploading the microservice. Uh, and I will show you then shortly also the SDK in the Bash site. You can, of course, do everything in Bash. But now we'll add our server. Call it localhost. Actually, we have a server name. Pressing awesomeness. 
and we are running the same there and the certificate that was created we will need that one and it is in my home folder so we'll use that one and we'll add the server and voila we have literally been downloading both the platform the web GUI we've been unzipping them we've been uh, starting them up both of them also we have been uh, downloading a few additional libraries from the npmgs.org and everything in just a few minutes and that's it and if I would have been doing this straight off without talking it should have been done in barely a minute literally we are up and running so what do we see here in the server uh, we'll see the CPU usage we see the memory how much is free out of the total storage out of the total we can check statistics for inbound outbound and error uh, of course they are zero now because we don't run any APIs or microservices uh, we can download these ones from here that's not a problem we can edit the server so when you're editing uh, if you just want to edit the server name just edit that and don't do anything else and then click save so you only change what you want to edit of course you can delete and then you can go up here to configure your host activation key is uh, the license key so to say uh, you'll get that one if you buy a license from us uh, right now you have uh, one API and three services that's unlimited if you need more than that which you normally do if you're going to run any normal project that you want to commercialize uh, please contact us for the license spot now the security key is the most important one here if you want to network scale you want to run uh, multiple platforms in the same uh, network environment you will need to make sure that all the platforms in your uh, network environment uh, are using the same security key otherwise you're not going to be able to have the uh, the services to talk to each other they will see each other's because we are running on a mesh network this is a service mesh network so they'll see each other's but they won't be able to talk to each other's so uh, for that to happen you need to use the same security key the security key is automatically uh, created when you create the or when you're actually starting up the server or creating it so uh, make sure to use the same security key if you want to network scale now I'll show fast this side this is what we're going to actually work with uh, in the next video uh, hopefully next week uh, if I have the time in between all the meetings and everything else so we have the API you're going to have the name ports memory CPU instances you can actually change the port in instances I'll show you that later on uh, you can close it on uh, off and on here uh, you'll see the rest endpoints and you can delete it of course or actually here's the configuring the rest endpoints button and when you're adding the new API you choose just the name how many instances you want to run on what port and if you want to run an API certificate which you are creating yourself services here as well when you're adding service name instance and here's where you're uploading the service package the service itself and it it needs to be packaged as a zip but I'll talk that with the SDK later on and of course timers so this is it very simple 